a beef tenderloin with candied walnuts. I'm toasting the walnuts in the oven on a silicone mat, or you can use parchment paper. And I cooked about a half a cup of sugar, pour it into a skillet, and then use a fork to drizzle the sugar over the walnuts. Thank you, Goldie. And then you pull them apart with a fork. You gotta work kind of fast when you do this. These are delicious for parties too. You can add any spices you like while the sugar's still nice and wet. Now we're gonna sprinkle black pepper while they're nice and hot and flaky sea salt. We make a stir fry out of beautiful beef tenderloin. You can also make this dish with what's called a petite filet. For every four adult portions, you need a pound and a half. You then are gonna cube the meat into large bite-sized pieces. We always pat our protein completely dry. Put the dry protein onto the very hot surface with whatever oil you like. I'm going to use the oil from our garlic confit. So you can buy about oh, 20, 25 cloves, a couple of big bulbs of garlic with about a cup of oil in a small pot. Put that on the stove over low heat and let it just bubble barely bubble over low heat for about 30 to 40 minutes. What you'll end up with is this gorgeous, almost paste, sweet, mellow garlic, and the whole cloves are delicious, just spread on toast. You can serve this dish with white or brown rice. Whenever I cook rice, I cook it in stock rather than water to impart more flavor into the rice itself. Generally speaking, for white rice, it's a two to one ratio, two cups of liquid to one cup of white rice. Uh, I like to go a little shy because I like fluffy rice. So I go about a cup and three quarters or so for a cup of rice. I started a large or two medium white or yellow onion in a little drizzle of our garlic oil from making our garlic confit. And I let that cook out with just salt. And then as the onions started to get nice and translucent to keep them from browning, because we want to keep them just soft and sweet, I added a little water that's cooking out. Meanwhile, over high heat, I took some garlic oil and I'm browning our tenderloin, look at that, with our leeks. Now comes the fun part, we get to add our sherry or shaoxi to deglaze the meat drippings from the bottom of the pan. I love a little bit, not too much, a little drizzle of the smoked soy married with a fat splash of the tamari. A little Worcestershire sauce, some nice fresh ginger, and then to make it extra saucy, a little beef bone broth or stock. And then to thicken that up, we put a little bit, a couple teaspoons of cornstarch into water, make a little slurry. Let that thicken a bit. And then we add, oh, a lot of our garlic confit, our soft, beautiful garlic. And then we add our candied black pepper sea salt walnuts. I know! And then we put in our sweet onions. So this is our beef tenderloin with the uh, onions and leeks, our beautiful garlic confit, our candied black pepper sea salt walnuts. And then we take our rice. And in our family, we don't put the rice underneath. We put it alongside. Then you just mix a little bit in as you eat it. Uh, there you go, kids. Make your own pizza. <laughs> 